Hello again, I'm Nell. I work for the FSA managing their recognised forest school provider scheme and coupled with the fact that I'm a level three practitioner myself, uh, writing chapter eight came naturally to me. It's all about the things you need to think about when you're planning and delivering your own forest school. So after a start which looks at organisational fit, we move on to thinking about group size, ratio and the adults that you might need to have with you in your forest school sessions. And then we have a look at the sort of equipment that you might wish to have and the sort of paperwork that you might find it helpful to have in place. So things like um, risk benefit assessments, handbooks, session plans and reflections landowner agreements, parental consents, that sort of thing. And then we end by encouraging you to have a think about um, insurance, uh, first aid, CPD, and also your stakeholders. And I'm hoping that this chapter is gonna be really helpful to those of you setting up new forest school provision, and also to those of you wishing to reflect on your current provision.